Could flying a plane become almost as common as driving a car? If you like the outdoors, if you like going out and seeing planet Earth, this thing gives you a front row like a personal IMAX theater. Meet the Icon A5, a two-seater plane that takes off and lands on a runway or water. You get to fly around, you get to go where you want, kind of see what you want on your own terms and explore the planet in a very visceral, interactive way. No airports, no hangars. You store it in your garage, hitch it to your car, and company officials say they teach you how to fly it in two weeks. Ah, oh, yeah, you just hose it down. For Icon CEO, founder, and former Air Force fighter pilot Kirk Hawkins, it's about democratizing aviation. How did this idea come about? Oh, man, look, it's a lot of folks want to fly, and uh, we just rather go out and build a company to bring planes to the people. And flying is kind of the ultimate in what we would consider freedom, fun, and adventure. The A-5 can fly as fast as 110 miles per hour and climb as high as 15,000 feet. While Icon does want to bring flying to the public, this plane doesn't come cheap. It costs about $200,000 and the proper sport pilot license will run you another 10 grand. Despite the price tag, sales are taking off. 1,500 orders and deposits are on the books, but only one has shipped out. If you order one today, expect delivery in 2019. Automobile takes about five or six years to, come to, to bring the market. Airplanes take seven to 10 years. So we're kind of on track for typical airplane development. Among those on the wait list, Google chairman Eric Schmidt, NASCAR driver Carl Edwards, and JetBlue chairman Joel Peterson. This airplane has the potential to be a game changer, especially if Icon can produce it in the quality and the volume that they're planning. Aviation experts are bullish for a few reasons. An approachable cockpit that looks like a video game display. It's fuel efficient as well. You can go 400 miles on one tank. Plus, there's a parachute for the entire plane. But it's pilots that could be the biggest problem. Pilot actions are typically the cause of about three quarters of aviation accidents. ICOM's challenge is to sort of stamp out that impulsive behavior through education. Transforming how we fly won't happen fast, but ICON hopes to be at the frontier. One day, we as humans are going to start moving in three dimensions at a personal level. This is the beginning of that process. This is how we get there. We get there by getting more people engaged in aviation.